As we conclude our look at this third book of Moses, the book of Leviticus, we find that once again this book took on a slightly different flavor than the first two books of Moses. Jesus said that Moses wrote of him, that if we truly believe the scriptures, we would believe Moses because Moses wrote about the Christ. Genesis included explicit prophecies and testimonies and some allegorical examples that New Testament authors used to talk about the fact that the Christ was coming, that he would suffer and die, that he would rise again on the third day, and that forgiveness for sins would be proclaimed in Christ's name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. The book of Exodus was also used by New Testament authors to help inform us as New Covenant followers of the Lord Jesus Christ in ethical ways, practical ways, not to make some of the same mistakes that they did, and also to glory in the salvation, the perfect salvation that God has offered us freely in Christ. This book of Leviticus adds a future element, not only speaking of what Christ did in his first coming, not only speaking of what Christ did in sending forth the Holy Spirit when he arrived in heaven, seated at the right hand of his Father on high, but also looking forward to the coming again of the King of Glory when he comes to gather his people and to judge the world in righteousness. That is included, but also we saw a wonderful description, an overall picture of how it is that we should understand Jesus's ministry and look to him as our Savior, who is able to save because he is able to make the unclean clean. That's a statement that perhaps many of us have heard, and you know, we've read the Gospels probably and looked at some of these stories, but didn't understand the weight of some of the uh, things that Jesus did in simply making contact or allowing the world to contact him because of what that would normally do to any normal person. But of course, as we look to what the scriptures tell us about Christ, Christ was no mere man. He was a man, to be sure, born of the Virgin Mary, but he is also God in the flesh who came for the purpose of redeeming a people for himself from every tribe, tongue, nation, and people. Jesus is the Christ, the anointed one that Moses wrote about and looked forward to. And he shows us who God is because he is, in fact, God. And so as we look to Jesus, as we look to him as he is exalted, and we understand that he is coming again in glory, the book of Leviticus becomes very important for informing these themes and helping us to bear testimony to him, but also to rest and glory in the salvation that he has given us because we used to be unclean and now become of Christ have been washed in his perfect blood. Next up in the books of Moses, we will be looking at the book of Numbers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any of our future videos.